Would you like to learn how to make line art like this? Hello, I'm the one you lost. I'm a professional illustrator and anime artist from Texas. And in this video, I'll be showing you how I made this line art of um, Nanashi Mume and Sarah Spana from Hololive. So first thing up is the brush settings I use. I use the regular G pen with these settings on the pen pressure. So you can take note of that, jot it down. Um, I find this helps make the point kind of ramp up in a good way. Um, I also have the stabilization set to 15 and I'm gonna show you real quick how to turn stabilization on. So let me go ahead and move this down here. There we go. So go to correction. We want to turn this on and off. And what that does is it allows the stabilization feature to appear and disappear. And there's the uh, blend setting I have. So now we're going for the technique. Um, whenever you are working on line art, you really want to use quick strokes and you want to be using your elbow more than you're using your wrist or your hand because your elbow is a lot more stable. Um, the best way I can describe that is treat your elbow like it's, um, like it's stuck in place and then move it up and down or side to side. That'll make your lines much more clean and straight. Don't forget, your goal is to be confident. Now, confidence comes with time, so don't stress about it. Just keep practicing. Um, one thing you'll notice I'm doing as you look closely at my lines here is I thicken the corners where two lines intersect. That's important because it adds weight to your lines as well. You want your brush size to be pretty small and your canvas size to be pretty big to have a nice clean line art. Now, texture and thickness is a choice. You're allowed to have texture in your line art. You're allowed to have clean line art or you're allowed to have thick or small. I prefer small and clean with some anti-aliasing. You want to vary your thickness in different areas. Um, it's good to have variety in your line art. Try not to make everything so uniform. I tend to do it, but I also know when to add pen pressure to kind of make it a bit thicker versus not as thick. Um, so also, it's okay to be lazy every now and then, but try to be consistent whenever you work with line art. And again, consistency will come with practice and time. I'm just giving you the basic settings that I use and what I use to get the line art done. Um, some people use textured brushes or pencil brushes. I, like I showed you, just use a regular G pen. You'll see I'm thickening up corners. Again, this is something you need to do. It makes things so much easier. Um, I wish I had some crazy secret to uh, make it, make your line art good every time, but it really just is practicing and playing with variation of line thickness. Also, having a good sketch is super important. If your sketch is too messy, um, you won't be able to guide yourself to clean it up. It's good to treat line art like a second pass at the finished artwork. You want to go in a second time and clean it up and make it look as pretty as you possibly can. And really, that's about it. Um, a lot of what makes your artwork look good isn't necessarily the line art, but how well you render your shapes and if it looks like it is correct. You can have really good line art and really bad artwork. But my goal is just to give you the tools of what you need to have good line art. And I'll make another video explaining different textures and different uh, styles of line art. But in this video, I'm just showing you the one that I use. In the end, at the end of the day, what it's going to come down to is you have to make sure the sketch or art you render is good to make the line art look good. And... Sadly, that's that's about all it is. So I know I probably didn't blow your mind with anything, but if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It helps.